Hey everybody, X Joe 81X, and on the tubes today we have a Norelco 12 cup coffee maker. This was my grandmother's, or it is my grandmother's. She is no longer living at her house, and very, very long story short, little things are making their way around to certain people. Normally someone would have throw that threw this out, excuse me. But I remember this from when I was a child. Never drank that much coffee, but I remember going to grandma's house for Thanksgiving, Christmas, birthdays, and amongst other things, and this was always sitting on, on top of her microwave in the dining room. Okay, it's coffee time. Fill up the glass, put the water in here, and then the water fills up here, which you know I'll show you later. And then you turn it on, and then that's it. Uh, it comes with um, a nice 12 cupper. It says 10, but then there's instructions that says for uh, 12 cups fill to bottom of band. Well, that would be the band. Nice. It's been around the old school paper filter style that I have here. This goes in here. Oh, excuse me. Oops, sorry, this goes in here, percolates, and uh, that said, I'll uh, flip it upside down for you, just so we could get some things all made here, made there. Model HB 5192B. It's upside down, but I could read it. North American Phillips Corporation. 120 volts, 60 hertz, 1200. And, I'm sorry, 1225 watts. Uh, do not submerge in liquids. Warning, do not attempt to repair. Contact Norelco, author, authorized service station. Right, warning, do not attempt to repair Norelco. So that's a sticker that says that, but it's printed on it. No date code. I'm sure, <coughs> excuse me, I'm sure I could um, look this up on the interwebs. Um... Real quick before I show you the whole percolating and plugging it in, it smells. It smells. I put my th uh, my nose down here, and it just smells. And you know what? Not for nothing, I could see a bunch of stuff down on the bottom. It smells like grandma's house, but then it kind of doesn't. My wife said, "Oh, that stinks." The whole kitchen. I was brewing a bunch of pots and. Oh, hot water. Then we did the vinegar, half, half vinegar, half water. I did that twice. The second time I let sit for 20 minutes, but I could see on the bottom. You, the camera won't show it. I'll take it apart. It's kind of like brown right down here. So maybe that's what smells. So without further ado, I'll take it apart. It looks like there's, um, it's all plastic. So I'm going to be very careful. I also cleaned it, by the way. It was very dirty and it's funny. I don't know if the camera shows any justice in the sun. The bottom discolored differently than the top. So hopefully uh, with these four Phillips screws and with just a little bit of oomph, it looks like it just pops off from the back and hopefully just lifts up. Then I can actually see what the hell this dark and light thing does. There's nothing mechanical in it. So I wonder if it just moves something to let less water through. If you let less water, maybe it percolates different. Anyway, let me take this thing apart and we'll, uh, you know, get right to it. All right, with the help of Common Core Math and American Tools, these are the four screws. I took them out. Thank God, it just kind of sort of came out all by itself, so I obviously checked this before. Okay, so that comes out. That's wet because I guess... Oh, okay. So the water goes in here. That would be wet because this fills up. We'll clean that another time this is the dark and uh light thing let me see if this lifts up without you know obviously okay oh look, looks like it nope thought i had it oh maybe i think it lifts up i just uh let me, i might need a couple no nope, here it is kind of okay oh so dark and light so this goes in and turns. So it's just water flow. So let's see, dark would be fully opened. 
excuse me, I'm sorry, I'm watching the camera and my, I'm watching the camera and bubble at the same time. So dark would be fully opened. So that makes sense. So full hot water and then when you go light, that makes no sense. So light, <clears throat> dark. Okay, let me pop this open again. It kind of has like a little... Dark. Yeah, it's weird. I don't think it does anything. No, I really don't. Oh, look, there's a little thing here. So it's a little groove. <clears throat> the water... The water goes in there. Looks like... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I could smell it. You could see it. See that? That's good. That's the percolator. Gotta get the fucking percolator. Uh -uh. That's the percolator. <laughs> so water goes in through these jets and hopefully I could get down in here and take apart this. Let me get my hand. Maybe this is plastic piece comes off. Yeah. All right. Let me. Yeah, it smells like vinegar. I guess I ruined it. Okay, the top's off and that is very dirty. Uh, let me see what I could do. Okay, I took the two bottom screws off. One was here, one was here, and then there's a nut. Um... And I'll clean that too. A little coffee spill. But screw. I had to penetrate the uh, the sticker. I guess that's their thing. Oh, yeah, I uh, voided the warranty, by the way. <laughs> so we'll push this all on the side. So, okay, basically you have is your electronics. Looks like power comes in. Goes to a little thing and a thing and a relay and a thing and a pudding pop. Got yourself a little circuit board, a little power thing. One, two, three, four four um, uh, capacitors, a couple of resistors, a uh, computer chip, it's a world um, torrents or something, it's upside down printed. Here's the heating element, looks like you know the blue comes in, turn, tells it when to fucking turn on, tells it when not, this thing gets hot, this thing is cool, good, so it doesn't stay hot, whatever sensors or whatever it has in here, and this is the good part. Um, looks like I could take that screw apart and that screw apart and possibly this screw and that screw in there and hopefully this piece separates it should because it looks like it's already wanting to and then inside hopefully this metal piece and this plastic thing hopefully I could just remove this submerge it underneath here and do a nice nice clean I'll smell it before and after I don't really need to clean underneath there. I'll wipe it down with a damn cloth. So let me remove those screws and we'll be right back. Okay, there was a little rubber piece on top of here. We'll fucking, you know, soak that in a little bit. That was on there. That's nice and loose. Still pliable. Not cracked. Put that aside. This piece, excuse me, was just sitting in here. Came right off. Now I could kind of Put this whole thing in the sink and clean it. It's all plastic. It will all clean. So we'll just put that in there. I'll probably move this. Get rid of this rubber ring. So I don't damage it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. We'll just put that on the side. I don't want to damage that. So basically, you if you could imagine filling this thing up, I just want to mentally talk about the coffee so you fill the reservoir up and then it goes and it, you turn it on and oh look at that light fucking I guess the capacitors or whatever those old school stuff is charged so you fill the reservoir up which is this thing looks like the water fills goes in here I guess it sits in here um, excuse me I guess it's you know sits in here and it, this is what heats the water up so, you know, and then it sends it up. So I could do this if I really wanted to get technical. Very, very, oh good, it's pliable, it's not cracked, okay. So we'll just very calmly remove that. So then the hot coffee, or what it's called, goes up the tube. Maybe, I'm just trying to smell it. No, this is, it's this thing. This smells and you know I'll run cleaner through it and maybe a rag 
Um, I'll see if I can remove this rubber thing. I don't want to get too crazy with it. Put that on the side. Obviously, this doesn't need to be. If I really wanted to, I could maybe... Is there, there is something here. Let me see. Yes. Okay. There is a black thing. Let me... It smells like a little bit of vinegar. But it doesn't smell. No, this is good. This Maybe it's just a separator. Or it, it, it slows the volume down. So we'll give this a nice clean, especially this. I'll um, put this over here. I'll just shoot this in here. Just to get it going. I'm sure that's obnoxious. Okay, um, you know, I'll get it cleaned up. Maybe hopefully soap and water will get the smell out. And uh, thanks for, for watching. Stay tuned. Just showing you that I got this little, using the sponge. Wife has this little thing. Look at that. I'll show you, but look at that. Unbelievable. Coffee comes up through the metal tube. Sits in this plastic thing, which I have submerging in the... Uh, Excuse me, soapy water, it spits it around and it comes out the holes. It doesn't touch this plastic thing, you know, the, this thing. Unbelievable. It just, and then it comes through the holes and goes through the filter. Amazing. I go in here. Unbelievable. Beautiful. It smells like this. So we'll get it all cleaned, rinsed out. I'll hit it with compressed air uh, just so there's no anything residual and put it back together and you know, we'll clean these parts all right so I blew everything out with the uh, canned air <sighs> I cleaned everything as much as I could um, I had something in my hand I was on I was on the phone I took everything apart I could without really getting crazy there was a lot of coffee and stains underneath there because that's the part that gets hot and that's the part that sits right here can you see? Yeah, it sits right here. This was, this was really the black. So that's it. I'm gonna connect everything, and hopefully, I mean, it should work. I didn't disconnect this, but really can't clean in there. I would love to have get like a really like an eight-inch brush with like a flex on it, but you know what? It's stainless steel. The tube, this tube. I cleaned the, the dip with, um, oh, what's that called? The thing you put in your ear. Oh, not earphones, fuck, Q-tips. I cleaned the, 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 the angle with a Q-tip and it wasn't even dirty at all. I looked down with the light. You can't see it, but it's stainless steel. The hot water came up. Coffee never touched this. Coffee only... Um, Actually, coffee doesn't touch anything. Coffee only touches this. And what, I, what I'll have to do periodically is I noticed I had to hit this with Brillo. This was stained. So coffee splashes up and then that's about it. But you know what I'll have to do to preserve this? FYI, always just run a pot of hot water when you're done with coffee. Because if you don't use it all the time, it's going to get stained. Especially up here, the water is going to stay and get stained. This, this, the reservoir is now clean. It shouldn't be dirty because that's regular, you know, tap water. But I'm going to put this back together and we'll throw a pot in and brew her up. All right, everybody, everything's back together and uh, Mr. Riviera came in. Oh, how you fucking doing? Oh, his holiday bit. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, everything went back. All the screws went back. He's setting the time for what it's worth. Oh, no way. No, it's not. Oh, it's 2.50. It's 2.50. Okay, yeah. and... Uh, so you even got the PM indicator. Because oh. it has the, uh, you know, you can set it to brew at a particular time. Oh, yes, this yes. Is the the brew, if you hold that, I think you can set the a time. A time that you could wake up in the morning on and, and, and brew. Which he might actually enjoy. Okay, everybody, what we're going to be doing is uh, now we'll do with a smell test. <laughs> ah... 1980s plastic. All right, we got 10 cups here, and uh, we'll 
put 10 cups in. Pour lively, gentlemen. Pour lively. Okay. Let's see if she blows up. Red light is on. Element's already hot because you could see the grooves in it, like a uh, grill. It actually is going to start percolating in like one minute. So uh, I'll come back. Oh, I almost broke the thing. Bye. She now what? Thirty seconds. Ten seconds. Shot right out. Ten seconds. Now of course, um, I'll mark the time. It's two fifty-two, and uh, we'll I'll let you know how long it took to um, brew that full cup. All right, everybody. Three oh one. It actually stopped about a minute ago, so it took uh, eight minutes. Eight minutes without prep, which is depending on how many scoops and putting the filter in, turning it on, and eight, uh, ten full cups. At a doesn't matter what setting that is. Um, what this is, real quick, now that me and Jay figured it out, is inside is a mechanism that I showed you in the previous uh, previous minutes ago. When you put it on dark. It, there's a thing, uh, a plastic piece right here. It shuts this plastic piece off and it just pisses down right on top of the filter with all the coffee. When you bring it to five, it opens up like a plastic piece and it drips down the side here through these plastic factory grooves and down the side of the um, filter and just touches the coffee to give you a lighter flavor. So for for what it's worth, we'll keep it at three for now. We'll see how the coffee tastes. We're gonna run two or three, maybe even four or five pots through this just to make sure everything's working. So uh, thanks for watching. This was my uh, disassembly and reassemble and um oh shoot cleaning cleaning huh. and operation That's of why the he needs me here. <laughs> of the Norelco twelve cup ready brew two. Again, thanks for watching. Hit like. Hit subscribe. And we'll see you in the next video.